Hello guys, welcome to the stream. Here. Here we've got Doko versus the Jonathan. I have little time today, so I may not be able to uh I will be fast forwarding a bit. Hey Prolace, Jake and Alan in the street in the chat. Bands are on display. Doko chooses Mosk uh, Russians and Jonathan chooses Oh my god, I can't believe Mongols weren't banned. Out of all the nations that exist in this game, I think Mongols might be the top nation. Mongols are fast, Mongols have cheaper and faster faster produced cavalry. They get free cavalry when they make buildings. They have an insane eco bonus. And they have less plan uh, less attrition. That means when they go to the opponent's territory, they don't get as much attrition. So that means despot is not necessary for Mongols. In fact, Mongols can even raid Russians with a senator. No other nation can ba uh, can raid Russians with senator. Nobody in their right mind would raid Russians as a senator. So very unlucky of Doko that he got pitched against Russian uh, Mongols when he was taking Russia. So he loses half of his attrition advantage in this way. Jonathan going for any raids? Wait, he's not going for raids. That's weird. Goes for a senator. And he goes for a... S oh, almost got that city. He almost got that city there. Look at that. Just two, just two attrition. That's regular attrition for any other nation when they get the first upgrade. Mongols are a perfect counter. I mean, Mongols are a great counter to most of the nations, but they're even better counters for Russians. Still no aggression. No aggression at all. That is a very weird Mongol play. Mongol player ages. Oh, look at that. 175 wealth income for the Mongol player. The rares. Doko does have very nice rares. That's a weird wood uh, tower. But anyway, he has Pappy. He has Silk. He has Amber. Not bad. For the Mongol player, he's got Salt and Spice. Salt and the Mongol bonus. That's almost like... Mongol bonus is almost close to the having horses. And Dogo is, uh, Dogo is the, I can't believe Russian player is on aggressive and the Mongol player is defending. This is a very alternate dimension. Hold on guys, I'll be back. I'm back. Man, Doko is playing nice. E everything's looking good here for Doko. The only, only thing that I wish Doko paid more attention on would be his wealth, his knowledge income. 
he is making uh he's making units Russians are pretty good actually it's very difficult to raid them of course Mongols is one nation where you can raid Russians and I, man that is a very weird way to raid Doko is losing a lot of his units just so that he can raid salt merchant Oh, poor decision by Jonathan. Both of these guys are very playing very strange. Doko still doesn't have commerce too. I have a feeling that I cannot see the chats. Let me make sure I have the chats open. Yep. Ooh, here is Jonathan chasing these units. He should have upgraded his light cavalry. Uh, the thing is, Doko is about to lose his despot. And I wonder if he has done enough damage. Whoa, 100 wealth. 100 wealth plunder for Doko. But he lost so many units in all of this. It doesn't look like a good engagement. Jonathan much closer to aging. There are no multiple raids happening anywhere. Uh, by the way, another one, another ambush. And Jonathan should have got this city bigger already, but never mind. Let's see. What's his plan? More raids. Nice game by Doko. Uh, let's be clear that Doko has not aged. He doesn't even have. Oh, he, he does have a castle now. Whoa, that's a lot of unit. That's a lot of eco. No other nation can run into, like, even try to attack with a senator. But the Mongols can actually make it work. Doko has aged late. Should get, he should get monarchy as soon as possible. Doko actually might win this. Oh my god! I, I I'm I'm not kidding. I I'll announce Doko as the best player in this group. As the best player in this whole group, if he wins, if he wins this game against Mongols. But it's also a knockout round. Whoever loses this best of three is out of the Yellow Legion Legends tournament forever. Doko actually has a decent sized army. But the thing is, Mo Mongols get free horse archers every time they build build stables imagine the kind of spam jonathan can do here it is the the battle at oresa Ooh. very close battle plus six Plus six, yeah, same, same armor for both the players. And Doko's got a spy, which is working. This this scout has run out of uh, this scout, <laughs> underpaid scouts, not doing much. Doko has repelled this attack, and he, he he kills the spy after getting after losing one unit to bribe. Yeah, Doko's got this. Doko got this. Oh man, seriously, I can't believe Doko is winning against Mongols. And this is, a lot of this is owing to Jonathan's very passive play. He, being Mongols, he has never raided the Russian player. He never raided the Russian player. And this is bound to happen. No surprise that Doko is leading here. In fact, Doko is going to be aging much sooner than Jonathan.
Again, same battle here this time. Jonathan is here with a lot of units. That's a lot of units. Doko also has a lot of units. It doesn't look like it, but these units are stacked. Ooh. Wait, wait a second. Jonathan has doesn't have the fourth military upgrade. Yoko does. This is serious. This I'm I'm, I'm serious. Oh, Doko Doko is on to something. Doko is winning against Mongols. This is a very crazy game here. I would never I would never say Mongols can win again. Mongols can lose to Russians, but this because Mongol. Uh, Russians have two nemesis. One of them is a French and the other one is Mongols. I have never seen any equally skilled player beat French when they are Russians. Ooh. Look at that fine eco from, from Doko. He's got sieges. I think he'll take. I'll think. <laughs> Crap! Crap! What? What the? What did? The, what did I just see? Mongol bear with higher ruin bonus, with the perfect perfect nations. I mean, the perfect nation for countering Russia. Salt, spice, tobacco, not bad. Pappy and silk are fine, but these are not bad rares at all. Oof. I, I'm honestly surprised. Doko did very well. He takes the first game. Hello, Mentors and Kike. Kike. Game number two, Persians versus Romans. Uh, Persians have a slightly better start than Romans. And overall, it's actually difficult to say. I, I, I think Romans are stronger than Persians. Just because Romans can have uh, an excellent eco. I mean, not eco. Their armies are very strong, but then, as always, elephants from Persians they turn the game around. Hmm, militia. He's he's getting militia. He did that. Elephant raid did hurt uh, Doko a lot. Here comes some light raid from Doko. One, one villager down, and those those were forced to get garrison inside. Jonathan also doesn't have the craft. Hey, Phyllis Berto, yes, I did say that, and I, and this will be the last stream. I have to start packing soon. Wait, was he seriously using marbles? That is, <laughs> that is some... Jonathan was actually using marbles there. Ooh. Both of them are aging. Scores still equal. Nothing different. Doko is playing very well. He's again forcing Jonathan into a defensive position. That worked for Jonathan before. I mean, Doko before, and it might work for him again, especially this time he has a more aggressive nation. Last time he he was wrecking havoc with a defensive nation. D uh, Doko has caught military three already. Oh, 
look at that army. Look at that army from for Doko. That is a crazy sized army. Whoa, 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 man. Doko is not backing off. Look at look at look at what he's doing here. This reminds this reminds me of Dave versus Warley. Warley was Persians. And Dave came with this kind of raid against Warley. Holy crap. And Jonathan is forced to lead those caravans constantly. He has a lot of crossbows. And it's just not a good idea to be fighting against crossbows in front of the city. Oh. Oh, this could be a bad. This is a bad decision from Doko. Should not be fighting here. Oh wait, he did get the senator though. Always good if you get the senator. But yeah, I think Doko should have just run away. He did not have to fight this. Hmm. Dog is, always, is behind in technology though. Oh wait, he's not. I thought he was, but um, Jonathan still needs time for aging. And Dog actually has a lot of resources in his bank. Hmm. Jonathan's eco looks excellent, 160 wealth, 136 knowledge. Doko is also fine, I mean, he's at 150 everything, but Jonathan is actually at 150 of food, ooh, of wood, 250 of wood. By this time, Doko has ambushed Jonathan so many times that you would think Jonathan expects this, <laughs> but no, he is he's still not expecting these raids. Ooh, that would have been a very nice raid. Jonathan is raiding the rares though, and he's using all the rares. He's using, I mean, a lot of rares. Jonathan planning for an H5 game. Doko, I don't see Doko aging, but well, holy shit, that's it. That, that's it. That's it. Jonathan just gave up. 2 0. Doko goes to the. To play against Boo, Boo again, Boo versus Doko. And this means now we move to Prolays versus Lou, which has been long delayed. Finally, they're scheduled, and we have the best of three. Give me two minutes, guys.
Here we are, game number one for Prolace versus Lube. Romans versus Lakota. This is an interesting one. Um, both of these are top-notch nations in my in my opinion. Of course, I prefer Lakota over Romans, but I know certain people would like Romans. <laughs> Ooh. A good way to slow down Lakota would be with some early raids. Uh, Lube isn't going for that. Lube does have a very nice start. I want to say one mountain, two mountain, a plus five, a plus six, and a plus three. Enough wood for the rest of the game. And he has two mountains already. And this third mountain should be his if he builds his third city somewhere here. With gems, I don't think Lube should have any problem. Hey, Prolace cannot cast this because he it's he is playing in this game. Prolace is going for mill one here. Got a got Babby, Salt, Copper. These are nice rares to have. Also has silk. And being Lakota, anything in neutral territory is potentially a Lakota rare. So let's see. Double the ruins suits right for Lakota. And Lube, Lube does see the barracks, so he should be making his own barracks now. Oh man, nice raids coming, some good raids coming from Prolays. Lube reacts to it with his own barracks. Ooh. Luckily for Lube, no damage done so far. Oh, but Prolace is getting double rated. Wow, look at that. Two rares. Two ruins, right? Next to him. Loop also has nice rares. For the territory he's covering, he's got gems, relics. And again, if he builds a city here, this will be in his territory, silver. So these are excellent rares for Loop as well. No way I would say that Loop has worse rares. Prolace gets a stable, getting Senate in front. Senate is in front is a risky decision because that means your cap is in front, but that also means your Patriot comes back to life quickly from the front city. Whoa. So far, 100% Prolace is the one rating. Uh, Lou hasn't even started yet. Lube hasn't even started raiding. He's just, and this is what happens when you are against Lakota. You are stuck defending forever. Lube's caravan hasn't even started working yet. Yeah, this the caravan hasn't even started working. It's his whole wealth income is through market in the two cities. Finally, getting gems. Prolay is going for despot on this side. Ooh. Oh. Lou was going a little far for that. Again. Lou is the one. Lou is stuck with. I mean, I understand Senator Choice. He wants to defend. And Senator is very good for defending, but. It doesn't suit the Roman playstyle. Prole is going for a second city. I mean, his third city total. Oh, and Prole might be getting a free kill. Oh, he said he almost got that kill. He almost got that, got that kill. Gems is out of the question. Oh man, I have a feeling. What if Prole captures gems? That'll be epic. This is the. Second time this Roman Emperor had to die. Probably his eco is all at 100. Nothing nothing too good, but then nothing too bad either. He is he's doing enough damage to Lube. Lube doesn't have like Lube is finding it difficult to place his third city right now. He has Whoa, are you serious, Lube? This I think this city serves no purpose. A city right here would be better because at least it defends relics. Oh, 
Proles going for another raise. He Proles has been very active this game, and if he has to win against Romans, he needs to do that. He needs to constantly, constantly raid his opponent. There is no other way. Eco wise, Proles, yeah, of course, doing much better than his opponent. Ooh. And poor Relics Merchant is about to die. He does have three towers. Some nomad style action going on here. Towering towering on the open and uh, stable. Proles is actually ahead of a, of Lube in terms of wealth income, which is strange because Lakota isn't in the kind of nation that is known for its wealth income. And here he goes with a catapult. Oh man, so far, so far, it looks like he has... He has completely, completely put Lube in a corner. Lube is finding it difficult to raid himself. He has not raided at all while this caravan route is so open but he still hasn't raided more raids coming from prolace oh. prolace looks like prolace wants to end this game right now and he's even building a castle next to gems does does loop see it loop does not see that castle i bet he would rush this army, whatever Proles has, if he saw the castle. Loop does have some a small raiding party. And he can't get relics with that raiding party. He might be able to get Pappy. But yeah, the chances of chances of Loop winning this looking looking very slim. Because now Proles has even taken over in terms of eco. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a massive army and Lube actually pulled all militia in this city to fight this. That was a good idea. Good decision from Lube. Also good decision from Proles to go back. He doesn't have to fight this now. He's got... He he has gems in his control. Wow, it's looking difficult, man. I don't see. Uh, and Luke forgot about those light horses. Yeah, one died, and the other one also died. That was sad. I'll be honest. I didn't see. I didn't expect Proles to be dominating so badly. Who know? Who knew he was practicing with Lakota all this time? H4 for Proles. Lube. Nope. Lube needs another one or two minutes to go next stage. Oh. Lube defending with some nomad style. <laughs> nomad style staying behind the city and making towers and lookouts. That is a huge army from Proles. He even got the armor. The Lube doesn't have the extra armor. He doesn't have any extra armor compared to Proles. Ooh. These Minutemen, he is forced to bring all of Minutemen. Problem is, Loop doesn't have sieges. If he had siege, he could counterattack this, assuming he wins this. Holy crap, Proles is actually losing this battle. Proles is losing this battle, Loop will finish all of this army. But again, yeah, as I said, he doesn't have sieges, so the counterattack will be slow and by that time, and look, also look at the eco for Loop. It's destroyed. Proles even has the extra armor. Loop, Loop being Romans doesn't have the extra armor. Yeah, I think it's safe to say Lube is dead. Very safe to say Lube is dead.
Whoa, he's just continuing to send raiding units. Continuing to send raiding units. There's another raiding party coming on this side. And Prolays is on his way to next stage. He even got silver in his territory. This is over. There is... No, there's nothing Loop can do. Oh. This is a reminder for everybody to ban Lakota. You cannot allow Lakota. This is what happens. Prolays is... Pro has 66% territory under control. He could, he could just build an, uh, maybe a temple somewhere and he might be winning by territory victory at this point. Loop's getting military for, I, I like Loop's spirit. It's not broken even after all of this, the non-stop raids. All of this hasn't broken his spirit. Yeah, Pro Liz, were you were you high on this this one? <laughs> ah, it's so annoying when open and open and bribes your unit. Nothing, nothing is more sad than having your units lost to bribes. Pro Liz aging. Oh, didn't have to age. Love call CG. Well done. This is 1-0 for his game. Prolis did very well. I, I would say this was complete domination. And it it's... I've never seen Prolis play with Lakota like that. So, excellent play, man. Excellent play. We are game number two, Inca versus Persians. This reminds me of Naoto versus Dragon Neo. Was also Inca versus Persians. Spice relics for Proles, decent rares. For Lube, he's got sugar and silk, also decent. Both of them are nice, nice uh, rares. For Inca, what's work? What works for Inca is the is the rares. I mean, the rares for them, and also the late game boom that is unparalleled for Inca. Yeah, for Jonathan, I would say Jonathan was too passive with his Mongol play. That's what got him killed. Lube. Military 2, stable, started working on this side for this sense, war elephant. The question is, what will be Loop's government? I think, I think Inca sucks with Senator, but uh, to fight these elephants, it's, it's all, that is also a tough job. Oh wait, he did get Senator. He did get Senator on this side. Lube is using Relics. And I think Prolis was trying to attack that, but Lube saved it. And now Lube is going for Spice. Good damage from both the sides. I, I have a feeling Prolis is doing more damage because Elephants are just more annoying than anything else. Or actually, Prolis, Lube's Eco looks much better, man. He's getting raided somewhere because of which he has lost 62 food income. What's up with that? Wealth is not that different. 86 versus 118. Not bad at all. Hmm. Loop is going for a fence. Prolis was also thinking of fence. 
Oh, Luke uh, Prada is going for a castle behind the city. Hmm. Also, this city is very well, well walled by Prodes. That will help him, but you know what will help Loop? For Loop, his wealth income as Inca will help him. To beat Inca, I think the ex the best way to beat Inca is do exactly what uh, Prodes did last game. He did not give any time for Loop to breathe, and that's how you uh, you beat Inca. Inca is slow. Perfect to just constantly raid. This is this is actually a very good wall of uh, a senate, a siege factory. Not much place for Lou to join. Also, these raids from Inca, they are also deadly. Inca can spam these kind of heavy cavalry as much as they want. I have a feeling Loop should fight this. Oh, will he get this? Ah, uh, everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Two, two units dead. And one relics merchant dead for Prolace. Let me see. How is Lou being so offensive with with Senator? On this side, Prolace has got that spot and he's still not able to do as much damage. Both of them seem like they'll be aging, but this game loop seems to be This game loop seems to be dominating. Especially Inca at this stage, this is this is Around this time, Inca are honestly very hard to beat. Lube only has two mountains, but well, 226 wealth, who, who, what else do you need? Lube Scott. Monarch, but Prolace has these elephants and he is He is going inside these cities two elephants the kind of damage two elephants do this is remarkable Prolace did not bring a scout Loop doesn't even have the militia upgrade. Whoa! look at those plunder coming for Loop. <laughs> This insane amount of plunder coming for Loop. Because his units are dying, that's the sad part. No Monarch for Prolace yet. How strong are these elephants? This, this elephant has been under attrition, under fire for such a long time. And it still doesn't give up. Oh, good, good call by Prolace to kill that, to just kill that elephant better than giving it to the opponent. And then that elephant haunts you back. Yeah, this game is looking difficult, man. That was a late monarch. I think those raids were excellent, but that was a very late monarch for Loop. Lube has the extra armor. He also seems to have more units and he captures the city. Prole is, well, there is no harm, just get militia. But uh, even if he beats Lube's army with militia, it's not going to change much. Prole is called CG. Oh, that was excellent play. But this is, this is when Inca do get scary. And I would, I would suggest for everybody, if you are playing against Inca, you got to finish them very soon. You can't let them have fun. 4 is 1-1 one, one now.
It is the final game of the series, Turks vs. Persians. Let's see what Loops line is with Persians. Turks are great. Oh, Loop actually went for Civic level 3 against Persians. I think that's... That's pretty ballsy to go against to go Civ 3 against Persians. Well, well, the spot, well. On this side, on this side, Loop City is... Oh, that barracks was almost taken. But anyway. That was some long, long fights there. And this bowman should be enough for... For... <laughs> oh. Good for Prolace. Oh, and he does lose the bowman for loop. The two cities are finished. Now he just has to defend while these caravans do their job. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling we're going to see some nice fast kill here. The worst part here is that loop doesn't expect this. This is... Loop is not expecting a rush because he does not see the... If, he's, if he just saw the tower, he would expect a rush. And when you expect a rush, you would get your militia upgrade soon. But I don't think... I, I don't think... Loop is actually going for Siege Factory himself. Ooh. Yeah, this is an all-in for Prolace. No doubt. This is an all-in for Prolace. If he does not kill this... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Loop spamming buildings. That's a lookout. Prolase has zero knowledge right now. Here comes the militia. Do we have... There is no militia upgrade for Loop, and he definitely doesn't have the resources for attrition. Ooh, he does capture it. Prolase does capture the city. With, that's all the militia. That's all the militia, and I, I can't believe this is actually working. This we have I haven't seen this kind of militia rush in a, a long time, and this actually worked. Now Prolase has zero knowledge income, so I wouldn't rule out the fact that Loop can still come back in the game. Holy crap, that was fast. 10 minutes, game is over. What a play, man. Prolays did it. 2-1. Well played by Lube as well. He wasn't... I always just expect whenever open and starts because this is something that Turks are known for. Ah, but good thing that this is not a single elimination. Lube has one more chance. He will. Lube will be playing against Cage for a knockout round. And Prolays will play against Hockey Star next. Or, and the winner will go to the round of 16. You okay over there? No.
I didn't expect that best of three to finish so fast. I even have time for a game. Let's wreck up barley. Oh, he's also Koreans. Oh. That will be fun. Oh, this is a nice place for building. Hmm. Where should I build my second? I don't have mountains. That will be a problem for me. Ha 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 
Right, it looks like he is. He, why did he go to spot if he is gonna boom there? Very strange. Uh, he's here. Ah, uh, thanks to Warly. I know that I have a... I don't have all shitty rares. Oops. Ah, here he comes.
Thank you. 